B and OS is not the problem. What we need to work on is the UI, and that's what, exactly what we are doing. My colleagues David and Sebastian are going to showcase the elements of the progress in Symbian in more detail in the evening sessions, but I want to give you the brief summary of the key developments that you can expect in 2010. We will re-engineer the user interface delivered in two major milestones. The first of which will, be, which will arrive before mid-year, and second which will be here before this time next year. Working closely with the Symbian Foundation, we are making the best use of the benefits of a truly open operating system, providing a streamlined and efficient investment. The final pieces of Symbian 3 and the first pieces of Symbian 4 will be delivered to the Foundation as we start the new year. In the, new, uh, in the UI, we will reduce clutter and improve the input methods, including multi-touch and single-tap single simplicity, simpler and faster, just two taps to get to your favorite music or your, or your videos instead of eight, create an email, uh, email account in two steps instead of four, Brow significantly, significantly improved browser experience so that these internet-enabled smartphones will noticeably improve with a better web website compatibility, quicker, flash improved media experience, pins and zoom, and so on. The UI will be a lot faster, over three times faster than our, our current high-end devices in many, many areas of the user interface. Scrolling will move up to over 60 frames per second, a huge jump compared to the 15 frames that we have today. This is possible to the both improved software and improved hardware. You will see optimized graphics architecture with a focus on more responsiveness, showcased beautifully on a large capacitive screen. Later in the year, a complete uh, new visual and architectural rework of the UI will, will drastically reduce the complex, complexity throughout and bring a new, fresh appeal. We will execute here. And when we do, I believe many people will take a new look at Symbian. We will use the power of Symbian and the scale of Symbian to achieve that, what no other smartphone manufacturer can and give Symbian the simple, and beautiful user interface that it needs, that it deserves. Right over to Nicholas.